So at this point, the mouse is looking pretty good. A couple extra steps to finalize the mouse. First, add a company logo. So I'm going to sketch a line. Click on the ground. I'm going to do the lightning bolt. So I'm going to sketch out my lightning bolt logo. You can use the text command if you have text in your logo. Sketch it out with lines. Stop sketch. So there it is, sketch 5. I can see it down here at the bottom. So what I want to do is modify split body. I want to split the top. And the splitting tool is my lightning bolt logo. Click that. It's going to split that and say OK. There's lightning bolt right in the top. Now it's coplanar with the top, so I want to go modify, press and pull, click on the lightning bolt, drag that down a little bit, give it some relief, say OK. I might change the material, what that looks like, so I go to my appearance. And instead of applying the whole thing, I might just apply it to the face. Right there. Say close. If I'd like to, I could combine these. Modify, uh, combine. I could pick the target bodies, add this. And instead of cut, I can join them. Say OK. Now it's all one piece. Still just the top. Oh, and I kept those tool bodies. I can go back and say edit feature. I don't want to keep the tools that time. There we go. Now it's just one piece, the top. And I might go back and appearance. I can add that back in. It's going to apply just that face. Give it a second to think about that. And say close. And the last thing I might want to add here is modify fillet. It's going to be kind of sharp if I leave it like that. So I want to come back, grab these top edges, add a little bit of a fillet there, and say OK. Great, so we've got the lightning bolt on there. We've got all the parts of the mouse. Now I want to come back and to 3D print this. I want to 3D print is parts. I would probably right click on each of these and save as an STL individually. In the 3D printer, you want to 3D print these individually and then put them together. Um, if you want to 3D print the whole thing all at once, you go to the very top, right click, and say uh, save as STL. And it's going to save the entire uh, mouse as an STL. Uh, I also want to do a rendering. It's going to go back to model, render. You can see it's done some renderings over here. It's got a good environment right now. If I go to my setup, I can see it's set to uh, one of these studio environments. You can see the little light there. It's great for something like a mouse. That's so probably a good environment to keep. Um, you can see it right here. It reflects. It's like a little studio light uh, that reflects in the mouse. So it might be okay to go ahead and leave it at that. Um, a couple other settings we can look at in here. I'll give it a second to bring the settings up. I can change the background to any color I'd like. And I can flatten the ground, or I can do a reflection. Turn on the reflection, and I can if I decrease the roughness, it's going to sharpen that reflection. Or if I increase the roughness, it's going to fuzzy it out. I can see that change there. Keep that sharp. I can change the uh, camera focal length, just like a, a camera. And right now it's at 90. I can bring that in. See, it's getting more dramatic. Real steep angles are less. I'm going to do a 40 millimeter. Think of a 40 millimeter camera. And that's going to adjust that. And I accidentally clicked on the exposure value, but you saw what that does. It changes the exposure. I'll leave that at, uh, I'll do 9. Should be good there. Maybe 9.5. I can do a depth of field if I want to fuzzy something else out. That doesn't make a lot of sense for the mouse. It's one of the objects, but if you had more than one, you could uh, do a depth of field and select where you want to have sharp, and it's going to blur everything else out. Uh, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to say close. And I can render on the cloud, or I can render locally and get that render. I'm going to do the cloud this time. Render, and I'll accept that. It's going to save the, the document, and then it's going to render that for me. And once I have that rendering, I can open that up here 
and save that PNG file. So we'll give that a second. It's going to take a little while. It's you know, saying you know, about 20 minutes or less to render. And once I've got that rendering, I can open it up, click the download button, and get the PNG file I need to wrap up this project. Thanks for making a mouse with me.